Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Jake here again, and today I have a major, major, major upgrade for Eidolon, the PC I have over here. So today, I'm going to be unboxing the ASRock Z97 Extreme 4 Super Alloy Motherboard. This was a motherboard usually on sale for $170 at my local Micro Center. It's not really local, it's about an hour away, which isn't too bad. Um, and I got a mail-in rebate, and I also got money off of it because I brought a processor with it. Go ahead and go over to the side. Of course, Intel Core chipset. It is Z97. On the top, it just has some basic product specifications. On the back is where all the good stuff is. So we have an extra, extra large aluminum alloy heatsink design, a dual socket MOSFET for CPU, CPU power, a NextFET MOSFET for memory power. We have a power pack with the MOSFETs, just showing you, I'm sorry, showing you the difference of um, each one and how much heat each one generates. We have Nichicone 12K Platinum Caps for all the capacitors. Premium Alloy Choke, so it increases the saturation current and features a highly magnetic and heat resistant design, making it more efficient, stable, and reliable. We have an M2 socket for SATA PCI Gen 2, ASREC App Shop, which I've actually never heard of. I have a 15, um, 15, I forgot what that is, gold contacts in the DIMMs and in the CPU slots. We have SATA Express, HD Saver technology, which I have no idea is. Um, and we have, also we have 10 gigabit stuff on here, um, which is awesome. So yes, we'll actually go over that in just a minute here. This actually, this motherboard does have gigabit inter Ethernet by Intel, which is going to be awesome. So we'll go ahead and look at that real quick on the back, and we'll go ahead and flip back over and open it up. Inside the box we have an I.O. shield. Looks like a SATA, two, cable, two SATA cables. We have another power cable. I'm not entirely sure what this is for. I'll have to read up on it. Looks like it might be for lighting or something on the motherboard. Looks like we have another two more SATA cables designed for six gigabit per second. And we'll skip the guide for now. There we have an installation disk and a sticker. Of course, I always go straight to the website and get the drivers that are on there. What do we have here? I'm going to assume... You know I'm going to need my knife for this one. I'm going to assume that this is an SLI bridge. And I would be correct. This is an SLI bridge. Oh, wow. What, what the heck is the point of rolling it up if it's already in packaging? Okay. Take that baby out. That is a sturdy SLI bridge right there. I like that. It's not flexible, which is nice. Cool. I might end up using that one instead of the one that I have in there currently. So I'll go ahead and move that off to the side. Looks like we also have an ASRock Cloud thing. So I guess you can connect to your computer remotely if you do a subscription. I believe I saw it on the back. That's pretty neat. Cool. Well, I'm probably going to skip that for now at least. Go ahead and go onward to the inside. What do we have here? have a tiny little screw. Not sure what that part's for. We have a software setup guide, Z97 Extreme 4, and the Z97 Extreme 4 quick installation guide. So in here we have everything you need to know about um, the jumpers in the beginning. This is all in a different language. The jumpers, the installing the heat sinks, installing the processors, all that good stuff. It does show you all the buttons that it has. I'll go over those in just a minute here. And uh, it's basically everything if you're a complete noob at building. Everything is in this book for you to use. So, opening up the rest of the box, we have a big motherboard here in this bag. Of course, it's an anti-static bag. Now, uh, if I can get it out of the box, that would be great. I don't want to, like, break it on the way out or anything. There we go. Lift it up slowly, slowly, slowly. Go ahead and move the box off to the side for now. That will be replacing the other one. All right, let's go ahead and flip this baby over. Take this out of the anti-static bag. Looks like it has an anti-static pad here as well. Ooh, that's very nice. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and take the bag off of it. 
There's the anti-static bag. Ooh, it comes in a nice, very, very nice foam padding here. All right, there we go. So, here is the Z97 Extreme 4 motherboard. We have a gorgeous blue and silver and black heat sink up here at the top and the side. We have a Molex connector here, which is for PCI power. That's interesting. I've never seen that before. We also have chassis fan connectors here and here, which is kind of an odd location because the GPUs are kind of here. And if you're if you're a nice cable management person, you're not going to really want that any uh, there for the most part. We have four DIMM slots here for DDR3 RAM, which is going to be awesome. Looks like there are two options for dual channel here and two options for dual, dual channel here. Front USB 3.0 over here we have a 25 uh, pin power connector of course HD saver which I'm not sure what it is. Let's go ahead and take that sticker off. Oh I'm guessing that's that little connector. Oh I think it might be a power connector. Awesome. And we'll go ahead and go over to the side real quick. Now we do have some SATA. They are not color coded unfortunately but I believe these ones Zero and one and three. I think these ones right here. I believe these are all six gigabit per second And the rest are three gigabits per second go back to the top We have a chassis fan and a CPU fan connector all the way up here Which I'm going to be using for the H100i to connect and make sure it's not stupid The eight pin power connector up here for the motherboard or for the processor rather I'm going to go ahead and see if I can take this off very very gently just barely and show you guys the side on the I.O. We have a PS2 port, we have two USB 2.0s, DVI, VGA, HDMI, we have a mini display port as well, two more 3.0 ports, two more 3.0 ports, and two more 3.0 ports. Of course, we have high definition audio right here, provided by Purity Sound 2, as well as this baby right here, which is Intel Gigabit Ethernet. So we're going to see how that does. Go ahead and go down to the bottom a little bit. We have the big PCI lanes here. Of course, there is this one, which is going to be for the other se um, the 760, and then this one right here. Those are going to be very nice. Then one down here. This is three-way SLI compatible. It's a big motherboard. I don't think I'm going to do three-way, though. Now we go ahead and go down here. We do have random connectors for anything else. We do have an HD audio connector over here for the front panel. If you go over underneath the very first one, we have USB 2, another USB 2.0, a speaker, power connectors and front uh, front panel connectors, as well as a debug LED, a clear MOS, a reset button, and a power button all on board as well as a BIOS switch right there, which is going to be sweet. I'm definitely looking forward to the debug LED, the power reset. These make everything a lot easier, especially if you're working in out of the case for now to make sure everything boots. You can always check those codes and usually they'll spit something out really nice for you if everything is in the correct place. So on the back we have a matte black PCB which does look very nice. We do have this foam that covers the entire thing and keeps it nice and sturdy in the box. And for the most part, that's pretty much all the unboxing is. So this is a major upgrade, which will be accompanied, of course, by the Intel i7-4790K. This is a quad-core processor. It has hyper-threading, of course. Um, it's not very different from a lot of other processors you'll, you'll, you'll see. It's 8 megs of cache. It's 1150 socket. And to get a new processor, I had to get a new motherboard. And the new processor is basically to just extend the rendering and making that make that time a lot quicker than it already is which it currently is pretty fast but i'm always looking for more so that's pretty much it for this unboxing thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe there isn't going to be an installation of this but there will be a video up as soon as everything is done i'm running command prompt right now and i'm about to do a system prep so hopefully, once we run that system prep and install everything, we won't have to reinstall Windows. That's my guess. Currently at this point, it, we might not have to, which would be fantastic. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, 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 very soon at the next one.